Hi everyone, here at Pyral, here with some more Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Last episode, we defeated Master Grievel and put an end to Cypher. But there's still more for us to do. So let's just resume our adventure. And as you can see, while we were in Citadel Dark Isle, we snagged a ton of Shadow Pokemon, bringing our count over to 82. That's a lot. That's a lot. But that's not all of the Shadow Pokemon that we have here. Anyways, you start off here in your room. When you try to leave, you'll get an email here from Egan. Dear Ralph, I have heard that you returned from Citadel Dark Isle. I send this message as an invitation to the Ore Coliseum. I will be arriving shortly to ask you in per... And it's cut off. Okay, so Egan is on his way. Also, everyone's dialogue here basically changes. Saying that we're awesome and such. But um, what I want to do... I'm going to put Libby and Terry out here in the lead. And also, while we were in Citadark Isle... Actually, I just want to show off some more... um interesting bits of dialogue, I guess. Like, for example... This person right here. They, like, these people will acknowledge that we snagged the Shadow Lugia XD001. So that's neat and whatnot. What about you, mother? Do you have anything to say? You're finally going off to- I've, I've already done the ultimate battle. I mean, there's still some other battles I need to do, but whatever. Okay, well, I already came home safely, but yeah. After you beat the final boss, after you defeat Master of Grievel, the game will basically treat it as if you've never, like, beaten him before, even though we snagged his Pokemon. It's weird. Yeah, it's about the Shadow Pokemon that is impossible to purify. I think I've told you about that before. It appears that the Shadow Lugia you've snagged is that shot. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. It's an outrage. It really is. However, so long as the Shadow Lugia has a heart, there must be a way for it to be purified. We've got to maximally use the power of the Purify Chamber in the regular Pokemon. Okay. Well, that's a hint to things that I won't be doing until later. But keep that in mind. Also, while we're here, I do need to purify some of the Shadow Pokemon that have had their heart gauges lowered while I was in Citadel Isle. So let's, um... Quickly do that. Okay. Anyways, let's just see if Egan made it here. What do you have to say? Yo, Ral, do you know that old man? Oh, it looks like Egan's already here. He has this th this air around him. It's pretty obvious that he's no ordinary guy. He's too intimidating for me to talk to. Really? I don't think he's that intimidating. That old fellow's been standing, for, standing there for a good while now. Is he waiting for someone? It's funny that all these people don't know who Egan is when he was allegedly the greatest trainer in this time, but eh, whatever. Have you read the email I sent you? Yes, and it got cut off. I panic and sent the email before I finish it, but I'm glad to hear that you've received it. I was inspired by your battle exploits, you see. It made me want to have a battle with you. That said, Rel, there are countless trainers that would be honored to battle with Cypher's nemesis. I therefore decided to make charge and or take charge and organize a Coliseum event. Impressed? Before we talk, we must battle you and I. On guard! Okay, we have another battle against Egan. It's been a while since we've battled him, but he's probably gotten himself back into shape. And he he really likes the Pikachu family here. There's these two Pichu. And the only notable thing about these is that they know Volt Tackle. So that's cool. And this is why I wanted Libby out in the lead. Just so I can use Earthquake on these. It's It's easy. This isn't that difficult a battle if you have something with Earthquake. So, goodbye this Pichu. And maybe this battle will be enough for... Uh, for Libby to make it to level 45. Also, he has Pikachu. Which also knows Volt Tackle. All of... 
not to spoil anything, but, like, we're gonna be tearing through his team pretty fast here. His entire team is just the Pikachu family. And they all have Volt Tackle. Which, it's interesting, I guess. But, eh. Now, if, if his Pikachu had, like, a Light Ball, it'd be kind of threatening, but I don't know if they do. But either way... <laughs> Either way, this is really all I need. Just Earthquake, and maybe Terry can just bop this Pikachu. Pikachu isn't really known for its defenses, after all. That's level 50. Okay. Okay, then. Wait, that, that Pikachu is faster than Raichu? Huh. Also, it's really, really weird hearing Pikachu's cry just because I haven't heard it in a while because the, the more modern Pokemon games, like since Generation 6, uh, Generation 6 onwards, they they replaced Pikachu's cry with, um, it, um, with its uh, voice actress from the Pokemon anime. Which is neat and everything, but I kind of miss Pikachu's cry. I wish there would be, like, a way to just switch to that, but, oh well. Yeah, I wasn't expecting this Raichu to go down to that Volt Tackle. Oh, we got to see that in action. Yeah, that hurt. Yeah, sorry, Terry. Um, who, who needs experience more? Uh, yeah, sure, Johnny, you can do it. I don't know if this is going to be enough to push Libby onto level 45, but... Hopefully. Hopefully. Also, as a note... Oh, yeah, sorry about that, Johnny. As a note, whenever, um... Whenever you defeat Master Gravel, the trainers that you can rematch in this game, like, just various NPCs, they're gonna, they're gonna have their Pokémon raised up, evolved, and whatnot, and they'll be at a higher level, like, matching around the general level that Grievous Pokemon are at, so, like, 50s. Like, early 50s. It's no wonder that Cypher has their eye on you. I must say, I enjoyed myself tremendously. I'm sure the trainers who gather at the Ori Coliseum will be delighted to face you. Please, we'd very much like you to come. Okay, that's where it is. But I'm not going to go there just yet. I have a few things I need to uh, take care of before I do there. Do before I do there. Before I head out there. I'll be waiting for you at the Ori Coliseum. Yeah, I'm busy. But uh, yeah, trainers that you can like rematch. For example, let's just head on over to the world map screen. Like for example, um. The Hexagon Brothers. They'll be here at the entrance of the Shadow Pokemon Lab. You can rematch them and they're gonna have their Pokemon like in the early 50s. Or like some of the old people that you can fight here in Agate Village. Anyways, our next destination here is going to be Gatian Port. Because... Mirror B is here. He'll only show up here after you have snagged 82 Shadow Pokemon. After you've snagged everything possible in the game, he'll be here. Now, where he is, you might ask? I'll show you, but first, I need to do some preparations because... First off, I used up a lot of my items while I was in Citadark Isle, so I need to... I need to refuel on that. Let's just head on over to the Mart. And let's buy ourselves... I don't think I need any more Pokeballs. I don't need these Ultra Balls anymore, because the reason why I got so many was for the fight against Griefel. Hyper Potions, I'm definitely going to need a few of these, so let's... Uh, 13. Sounds good. 3... No, no Max Potions. Couple of these. Normally I'd buy these off screen, but whatever. 
Then revives. I'm definitely gonna need a lot of these. Let, let's, for now, let's put my count up to 20. And actually, let's, uh, let's change up my team a little bit in terms of who's going to be in the lead. Um, I want Ellen here, definitely. And let's put Johnny here. I think that's, I think that's gonna be a good pair here. Okay. And... Actually, this is a trainer we can rematch. Her Pokemon, I believe she has a Milotic. I'm not going to show off all of like the optional trainers that you can rematch, just because I already fought them at the beginning of the game. But, whatever. Also, just like a little thing I like to nitpick about, but whenever you, um... Whenever you beat Grievel, you see the ending cutscene, you return here to Gatian Port. You can see Citadark Isle, like, off the coast here, but normally when you're playing through the game... You can't see any trace of it, so... Like, the ending cutscene makes it look like it's a lot closer than it is, when it really isn't. I don't know, I think it'd be neat to see like a little bit of it from this... ...angle, but... Nah. I guess they just didn't want to show the final area when you first make it to Gatian Port, since you... ...make it to Gatian Port like, very, very early in the game. Although, like, you wouldn't really know what Citadark Isle is anyways. Whatever. Whatever. Anyways. Mirby is going to be up here in the lighthouse. And I'm just going to make my way around just because there's some just slightly amusing bits of dialogue you can get here. Like from this old lady. Hi, youngster, beware. There's a peculiar character loitering at the top of the lighthouse. What's peculiar about him? Well, he has a huge round head for one thing, and his build is all stringy and gangly, but his motions are all floppy and snaky. What kind of tight do you have to be to get on a build like that? That's what I'd like to know. I don't know. I I don't know, but... I, I'd like to have dance moves like Mirror B. Is there a, a person up here? No? Okay. And over... where's... There you are. There's another bunch of goons upstairs that have taken... That have kind of taken over the place. I can't go up there because they're intimidating. It's rather upsetting. I wish they'd go away soon. Okay, well, I'll... I'll take care of that. And of course we have Mirby's awesome music playing. What about you? What are you doing here? Lad, who are those people? They've startled me so much I've become rude to the spot. What? You brat? You'd show up here? Why do you always mess with our plans to get all the Pokemon in the world? No thanks to you if we caught or we've lost more Pokemon than we've caught. Two? You lost two Pokemon. <laughs> okay then. What? What? Not you again. Our boss is busy dancing. You can see that, can't you? Oh, boss, the way you gyrate is the greatest. Shake, 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 shake it. So their plan is to just go to the top of this lighthouse and dance. Okay. Oh, hello, Pincer. <laughs> and these Ludicolo are just dancing about as well. Okay. Well, let's uh, get on with this. Hate to interrupt you while you're busy dancing up here. This is a pretty cool spot to dance in, I will admit, but no one is really noticing you if you want to, like... Like, the only ones that are paying attention to you dancing are Trudley and Foley and your Ludicolo. Oh well. I, I, I want you, want you. Huh? Stop the music. Let me wind down the music and take a look. Oh, you are. You are that super annoying brat. It's all your fault that my shadow Pokemon is the last of the kind. But you did worse. You messed up my dance for celebrating the future of Team Mirror. Of all, today of all days, you're not going to get away. No, you'll never, never get away. Let the music play. Okay then. 
We have a battle against Mirby. This is going to be a tough one at the levels that I'm at because he's going to start things off with Ludicolo, level 57, with the ability Swift Swim, so its speed will get doubled up in the rain, with the moves Rain Dance, Hydro Pump, Giga Drain, and Fake Out. The second Ludicolo is also level 57 with Swift Swim, with the moves Rain Dance, Hydro Pump, Giga Drain, and Counter. Level 57. This is the toughest thing we've seen so far in terms of levels, and Rain Dance makes these Ludicolo very, very threatening because they'll be incredibly fast and it'll make Hydro Pump deal a ton of damage, meaning you'll probably get knocked out <laughs> by these. So my strategy here is survive until they run out of Hydro Pumps and Giga Drains. I'm going to use Fake Out, and then I'm going to paralyze... this Ludicolo, because yeah, this one is always going to open up with Fake Out. Okay then. Too bad my Fake Out didn't work, but that's that's fine. This Rain Dance is going to be a bit of a pain, but Thunder Wave is going to make it easier to at least deal with this one Ludicolo. I need to set up a Light Screen as well just to lessen the damage that Hydro Pumps will do. But yeah, if you if you decide to do this like the moment you like you beat the game and have like the previous eighty three or eighty two shadow Pokemon, you're probably gonna be at around the level that I'm at, and it's gonna be very very tough. So, um, let's see, Thunder Wave this Ludicolo as well. I can. Okay, good. You you targeted Johnny. My my main goal here was to paralyze these two. So, I don't need to worry about that. They're, I mean, their speed is still going to be pretty fast, just because of the rain dance. But this will make it at least a little bit more manageable, and then I can set up light screen. Okay, this is going to hurt... Yeah, sorry, Eugene. Sorry about that. Actually, a good idea here would be to confuse one of these. They both used up... Um, they both used up one Hydro Pump, so they have four left. Uh, confuse Ray and then Light Screen. If I can get the Parafusion here, then... Like, this is also going to be very easy to deal with. Okay, so now the Hydro Pumps won't hurt as much. And honestly, if I didn't have that... If I didn't have a way to at least, like, cripple these with Paralysis, it would... This would be very, very difficult for me. Okay, so this is basically what I got all these items for. Okay, so Hyper Potion, and then I used it on the wrong person's turn. That's fine, because I was going to use Terry's Confuse Ray on that other Ludicolo. But hopefully, if one of these like, just runs out of Hydro Pumps and Giga Drains, then like they'll be sitting ducks because those are their only offensive moves that they can really use, because counter... I That second Ludicolo has counter, so I know not to use physical attacks on it, and the first Ludicolo, the one that has half of its HP, that one already used its fake out, so I'm, I'm doing good here. Okay, so let's Confuse Ray this one. Okay, you're, that one's good. That one's good to take out. See, counter. I don't need to worry about that. And now... Let's use Bite on this one, just so we can just rack up the hacks even more. And then... Um... Yeah, sure, let's revive everyone.
And now that rain is just not a thing anymore, this is gonna be a lot- Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, I was hoping it would hit itself or get paralyzed, but no. Hit yourself. Nice. Okay, that's almost one Ludicolo color down. And again, you do need to snag the previous 82 Shadow Pokemon before you can battle Mirror B up here. But again, like, the game gives you opportunities to snag them all. If you fail to snag them from fighting the other trainers, then Mirror B will have them, and you can just encounter him in different places, like the Pokespots or the Coliseums. Not counting the Ore Coliseum, but yeah. It's really easy to snag all of the other Shadow Pokemon. It's just getting to this point at... Like, getting to this battle of Mirror B, it's going to be a tough battle. Because, again, like, his Pokemon are the highest level we've seen so far in the game. Even higher than Grievel's. He honestly could probably take on Master Grievel. Okay, that hurt. And Light Screen wore off, so I need to set that again. Anyways, this third Ludicolo is also level 57 with the ability Swift Swim. Has Rain Dance and Giga Drain. I think. I'm actually not sure which Ludicolo this is. I just need to... Okay, Light Screen wore off at a bad time. Let's see... I'll, I'll just paralyze this one. Okay, this one. Yeah, this Ludicolo has Rain Dance, Waterfall, Giga Drain, and Brick Break. So, not as threatening of a Pokemon as the first two Ludicolo that he has. But Waterfall could be a bit of a problem just because it does have that... That's gonna hurt. It does have that flinch chance. But... It won't be dealing as much damage as, like, say, the ones that have Hydro Pump. Okay, so now my main goal here... Ellen is really, like, the big focus of this battle. I just need to use Light Screen. Just to soften the hits of these Pokémon. And I'm gonna need Ellen out as well, like, later on. Okay, I think that's your last Hydro Pump. And sorry, Eugene, sorry that you just, like, took that hit to the face. Um... Johnny, you have Fake Out. So... I can just use that. Fake out on that, and then let's let's just bring back my other team members, just because Terry's Confuse Ray is gonna honestly help so much with them being already paralyzed. Okay, nice. And now let's just target this one. And then also revive Terry here, because why not? Okay, good. You're down to half your HP. Can't attack, and you're gonna use Rain Dance. Okay. I can deal with that. Also, again, I just really, really love this song. Um, I already set up light screen, so Thunderbolt, eat this, eat this Thunderbolt. Okay, that Lady Color is going to be out of the way. So now onwards to his next Pokemon. Can you guess what it is? It should be obvious. Should be. It's another Ludicolo. This one is also level 57 with Swift Swim and Rain Dance. As for the moves it has, I'm gonna wait to see what it, like what else it does. 
Okay, this Ludicolo is using Giga Drain, so I'm pretty sure it's out of Hydro Pumps. So, let's just attack this one, and then another Thunder Wave. Okay, this one. Aside from Rain Dance, this one also has Thunder Punch, Ice Punch, and Fire Punch. It has good move coverage, at least, or type coverage, but it, this one... It really doesn't have the sheer, like, power that the other Ludicolo have with their Water-type attacks under Rain Dance. So, this one, not, not a threat at all. And you can just keep on healing your non-existent HP. Because it's not gonna matter here. This battle is actually going by really, really well. Um, I need to heal up Ellen here because her HP is low, and I need to set up another light screen. This battle, like, now that I have my momentum going, this is, this is, gonna, this is gonna be really easy. There are times where I do struggle with this battle, so, like, I do want to be as prepared as I can. Again, paralyzing things is incredibly helpful for this fight if you're at a level like I'm at. Because level 57, that's, that's such a high level advantage for him. Okay, so now let's just continue to wail on this one. Okay, yeah, this one should be going down. Goodbye. And now, on to Pokemon number 5. Another Ludicolo. Level 57 with Swift Swim. This one has Rain Dance, Hydro Pump, Giga Drain, and Seismic Toss. Watch out for that Hydro Pump. That's basically all I need to say about this. Um, I'm not going to take any chances here. I have Moomoo Milks for this. And now... Thunder Wave that one. Because, again, I need to make sure that I don't get outsped here and then take a Hydro Pump to the face. This just shows how dangerous Swift Swim can be. In fact, like... Like, it's so dangerous that a lot of competitive players will play under the rules that Swift Swim and Drizzle are banned, like, together, so you can't use them, or you can't use them together. That's basically, like, what a lot of competitive players do, because it's just that powerful. Okay, wow, critical, nice. Okay, then that, that one should be going down. And then, onwards, to Mirabee's last Pokemon. It's Dragonite. Dragonite, level 55 with the ability Inner Focus, so you can't flinch it. With the moves Shadow Down, Shadow Rush, Shadow Shed, and Shadow Storm. This is the last Shadow Pokemon. We... We were made aware of this when we left the Cypher Key Lair because... One of the people there was like, that Dragonite was the last Shadow Pokemon we made, but it was stolen. And Mirby has it. Now Dragonite as a Pokemon, it's pretty good. It's pretty bulky. And it can learn a lot of different moves in terms of move coverage. It can hit decently hard. It's all around a really good Pokemon that I can recommend. It's going to be a bit of a tough one to catch just because it's level 55. But um, my strategy here is going to be to have Nina soften Dragonite's physical attack with Intimidate. And then I'll just paralyze it. Shadow Storm is going to be a bit of a pain though because, oh no, I have a uh, light screen set up. But, yeah. Dragonite's a really good Pokemon. Whether you want to use Dragonite or Salamence, that's really up to personal preference. But still, they're, it's a Pokemon I can definitely recommend and I really like Dragonite as a Pokemon. It's a shame though that its hidden ability multi-scale isn't available in this game because it wasn't a thing yet, but yeah. 
So now you're paralyzed and you're softened up, so... I can now just... Do this, charm the pants off of you. That's not a saying I normally say, but... Whatever. And then lower your HP. And you don't even need to worry about knocking out this Dragonite, because if you were to just knock it out, you can just fight Mirabi up here again. So... Yeah. Okay, so now... What I want to do... Is just... Heal you up. And then... Just... Just weaken this thing a little bit more. Honestly, I think that's actually good. I think its HP is fine. Yeah, sorry Nina, but your job is essentially done at this point. And you know what? I'm gonna actually put out Libby here, because I want her to gain experience. Look at this, she's almost to level 45. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Don't knock out Libby, please. Barely. Okay. And you know what? I'm I'm just too cautious here. I need I need to switch out. And let's let's go for the Pokeball. Let's see if I can snag this Dragonite in one ball. We have 20 Pokeballs left, and I'm not going to be needing them after this Dragonite, so... Yeah. One. Nope. Okay, I'm, I'm probably going to lower its HP just a little bit more. I do have Fake out here with Johnny to ensure I get at least a guaranteed hit. Oh, nice. And you're just going to use Rain Dance, even though you don't really need to, because I'm pretty sure you're out of Hydro Pumps. But, eh. Okay, let's do that, and just in case, just in case, I'll throw a ball here. How much is, is this gonna work? Probably not. One, two, three. Oh, it worked. Cool. Well, we snagged the Dragonite, so now, now we just beat this Ludicolo up. And it's... It's basically two-on-one here. Um, You have counter, so I'm not gonna risk it. And just because... Just so everyone can be... Be alive during this, let's just revive Nina. And then just... Wail on you. Yeah, I can knock this out next turn. Okay, this battle is pretty much done. No, not fake out. Brick break. That's what I want to do. Okay. Johnny, you get the honor of getting the last hit in here. Okay. Perfect. Level 44. Endure. I don't need that. And now... Level 45! Nice! Nice! That's what I wanted here. Okay. Battling with you. I can't find the right groove at all. And that's it. We've snagged all the Shadow Pokemon in this game. And... Libby is evolving, finally! I'm excited. I'm really excited. Because now, she's a Flygon. And again, this is why I wanted her to be named Libby. Because one of 
Flygon's names in another language is Libeldra. So, Libby. Plus, I just really like Flygon. It's a cool looking Pokemon. Oh, how dare you! I say, how dare you! That Shadow Dragonite was Cypher's very last Shadow Pokemon. There's only one thing to do now. That's almost similar to, like, the pose you can make when you're done spinning in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Almost. And that elevator won't fit every... Oh, okay. He, he takes the elevator himself, and they just have to take the stairs. Nice. I like that. Huh? What is this? In my perfectly coiffed afro do, I found this little device. And he just breaks the tracking device on the... That made the mirror radar track him. <laughs> nice. Nice. Anyways. Let's take a look here. These are all the shadow Pokemon in the game. Not all of them have been purified. But... We have them all. And that's... That's awesome. I feel accomplished here. But... This Dragonite was the very last one. But... There's still more for us to do. Let's... Actually, what does this old guy say now that... I beat everyone. You were splendid, but that odd fellow with the gigantic head. Who was that? First I thought he was a Voltorb resting on his shoulders, but it turned out to be his hair. Just goes to show there are strange people about in the world. Even the Pokemon would be startled. Okay. I love how, like, there's... There's one fanfiction that I've read a while ago. And they basically said his hair was natural. Now... I mean, in other forms of media, there is a character whose hair is n naturally red and white. I mean, it's fictional, I guess, but like, the character Todoroki in My Hero Academia has the same hair color. So maybe he's related to Mirror B. Maybe. Also, My Hero Academia is very enjoyable, so watch it if you want. Anyways, Mirror B. After you defeat him, he's still here. He's still around. And he is actually right over here inside the Krabby Club. So first off, wait, what is Purr doing here? Wow, Rao, I didn't know I was here. Oh, wait a second. I get it. Rao, you came to watch the magicians without adult supervision, didn't you? Yep, just like me. You look pretty straight-laced, but you know how to find your fun. Razzle dazzle. Oh yeah! Tweet! I wouldn't tell your parents, so don't wrap me out to my grandpa. You make it sound like you're at like a strip club or something. No, they're just juggling and changing the colors of their bowling pins. Oh boss, the way you dry this you said that up, up at the top. What about you? What, you again? We're in a state of denial. Buzz off and leave us be, alright? I love it. I envy that guy. I mean, look at him. Flanked by the magicians. We're all happy that the magicians who came back to the Krabby Club, but who is that weirdo between them? Weirdo? That's Mirror B. Oh. Okay, then. Oh, uh, what about you? This guy's dancing has an edge, too. I can't be upstage in our performance. Who's this person? His infectious dance style makes me want to dance harder. Uh, okay, you're you're saying the same thing. You're just caught up in your dancing. Okay, well, at least it looks like you're enjoying yourself there. As long as you have fun. Right? Anyways, with that it- yeah, with that done, let me just, um, quickly... Eh, I'll get supplies off screen. <laughs> but, um, let me just say that that's gonna be it for this episode of Pokemon XD. We caught the last Shadow Pokemon in the game, that Dragonite. But, like I said before, there's still more to do. And we're gonna... 
we're gonna find out what else there is for us to do next time. Thank y'all so much for watching, and see y'all later. That's not my outro. It's see y'all next time for some more Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Later!